Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do a cool retro TV logo intro. If you like filmmaking tutorials or filmmaking videos of any kind, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Okay, so first let's put the background layer. Go to File, New Color Mat. I like this orange color because I'm going for a retro color scheme. So then let's lock this layer. Now you need a retro font. Go to defont.com and search through their retro category. Now you're going to go up to title, new title, default still. Now click the type tool and type whatever word you want. Make sure it's in the center. Then go over to Fill Type and click here and select Ghost. Then go down to Outer Strokes, click Add and make the color yellow. Now click out of there and drag the title by itself onto the timeline. Go to the first frame here and then go up to scale and click here to add a keyframe. Type 30 here. Then go over 24 frames and type 100. Now go back to the first frame here and add a keyframe on rotation. Leave it at zero. Go over 24 frames again and drag this to the left until it's here. Okay, now you're going to export this. So drag this here over until you are just on Barry with the rotation effect that we just made. Select QuickTime, then go down to Video Codec and select Apple ProRes 422 HQ. Then go here and type in 1920, and then here type in 1080. And on aspect, you're going to select square pixels. Now you hit export and drop this onto the timeline. Now you're ready to add the echo effect. Then with this new layer selected, go over to the effects, scroll down to time, and double click the echo effect. Then change this to negative 0.100. Change this to seven, change this to 0 0.30, change this to 4.40, and select maximum here. Then drag this on top of the orange background layer we made earlier. Now go up to Opacity and select Screen. Now let's go over to the Blur Effect. Double click the Gaussian Blur Effect. Select Horizontal and type in 20. Then you want to go over and find the original title you made. 
drag it to the timeline and double click it. Now change the fill type to solid and change the stroke color to white. Make sure you add the same Gaussian blur effect to this layer as well. So now copy and paste this white title. Stack it on top of the other one. With the top one selected, change the blur to horizontal vertical and change the number to 90. Go over 24 frames and drag it over. Then go to your video transitions and grab the cross dissolve. So now we want to create the bars. Go up to file, new, color mat, and we make this yellow. Then we do one for brown, then one for tan. We got to make sure that we put the orange layer back on the bottom and put the new color layers in the middle here. Now go over and add the crop effect on the tan color and you're just going to play with the top and bottom here to get them where you want. Then you're going to repeat that for each color. Then you add a keyframe at the start of the tan color. And on this keyframe you drag it all the way over. Then you go over 12 frames to the right and add another keyframe and drag back. See what it did there? Now repeat that for the other two colors. Now to add the blur to the colors, you just copy on this layer, Command-C, select the colors, and go up here and do Paste Attributes. Make sure the Gaussian Blur is the only box checked and hit OK. Now they're all blurred as well, but I would go ahead and make sure this is horizontal vertical instead of just horizontal. Now spread them out by 12 frames. The last thing we're going to do is go to File, New, Black Video. Drag that black video onto the very top of everything. With the black video selected, go over to Noise and add the noise effect. Type in 30. Then go up to its opacity and select Linear Dodge. And boom, check that out. Dunzo, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys soon.